What is up my Canadians? Hey you all, hey! Today we are back with another freaking video. And so before I tell y'all what we're doing in this video, we're just gonna play the intro, okay? So without further ado, pa -pa -pa -pa, play the intro, pa -pa -pa -pa, play it. You can be my baby, let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away my love So don't give away my love Okay guys, y'all watch the intro? We good? We cool? So if you can't tell by this like aristocratic faux lock button <laughs> Oh man, I tried to make a little aristocratic but We going to, we, I'm going to use proper English <laughs> We are going to a sneaker ball, guys. So, my fairy godmother, me, me, Kenise Nevea, um, K Day, period. Um, Y'all remember, I got this dress in a couple, it was like a few videos ago. If you haven't watched this video, I believe we did like a little, well, we did a lot of that. I think we went to Target and everything in that video. I don't know. But if you haven't watched that video, if you've never seen this dress right here, pause the video, go back, and watch the video. Because what are you doing? Why are you skipping videos? Like, that's weird. Why are you being weird? Also, don't pay no attention to my clothes in the background. I know I got to clean it. That'll also be in the video coming up, y'all. Because we are definitely overdue for an or let's organize my closet together video. But, um, yeah, that's the dress I'm going to wear to sneaker ball. I knew it coming handy, y'all. Remember when I bought it? Because, like, I got my uh, blazer with the bow on the back of it when I got that dress. And I wore that blazer a bunch of times, but I never wore the dress. So I'm really excited. And then I'm going to put this necklace on. And the matching earrings. I'm about to look like a little lady, guys. Now, I haven't quite des decided on the shoes yet. I got three pairs of sneakers out, y'all. Really, y'all can vote down in the below. But I'm going to ask my family in a second. So these, these are like heeled sneakers a little bit. But they're really comfortable and they're cute. But I just don't know if they're like considered sneakers because they have like a heel to them. But they, I think they're sneakers. They just have a little heel to it, you know. And then... My mom gave me these as a choice to wear, too. She said the pink would be okay with the blue. And then, when all else fails, I have my Vans. They're still drying on. They're still a little damp. They're not soaked, but they're still a little damp because I put them in a washing machine. So, yeah, they had, like, I'm just rough on these, these shoes. I, I go to the gym in these shoes. I play in these shoes. Like, <sighs> these shoes go through a lot. But yeah, they're they're like a little damp, but they're not soaked, if that makes sense. So these might be out if they don't dry in time. But if they do, then might. Because again, when all those fails, we throw in a pair of pants, period. Um, but I got my makeup bag with me. So we're going to do my makeup together. And then we're going to get dressed and pick my shoes. And you guys are going to go to the ball with me. Y'all are sending send the cinderella k day to the ball period y'all ready y'all ready okay let's do this let's transform this into a lady into a little princess into you know princess k day period let's do this y'all okay guys so i'm gonna we're gonna do my makeup today like i said but this is not going to be a makeup tutorial we're just doing my makeup together as Kate Aliens, as a fellow aliens in Tolkien, period. Um, so first thing I do, cause I told you I'm not doing a full face of makeup, I'm just doing some white makeup. So first I'm gonna go in with my spoolie and just brush the hairs out just so I know how I wanna shape my brows. Like that. And this is really just so I can know where, like, the hair is and, like, which parts I need to fill in more. And 
little tip whenever you're filling in your brows if you have dark thick brows like i do always use a shade lighter than your brows I recently learned that <laughs> otherwise you'll look like you have two big thick blocks on your forehead and your spoolie is your best friend to blend it out okay now i usually um fill in my brows with powder because it's easier but today i'm gonna try to line it with a brow pencil and see how it looks if not i'm gonna take it off and do it how i usually do it but i'm gonna do this in time lapse and i'll be back y'all so i am done my brows i might still touch them up later because it's i don't know y'all it's been a long time since i did my brows so this kind of gave me a run for my money but if as you saw in the time lapse i took that little pencil right off that i remember why i don't use pencils now and i remember why i use powders and then y'all i cannot i'm using the jason Wu palette because i did used to use the that palette before i learned that thing about how your eyebrows are not supposed to look that dark <laughs> so i'm like why do they look this dark i use this palette all the time to do my brows the whole time i switched to the milk the mineral fusion um nightlife palette and i use this color because the one in jason Wu is darker than this this is light lighter i know it looks dark but it's actually like a light brown so i actually use this to fill in my brows they're not symmetrical but your brows are sisters not twins so leave me alone like i said i probably still will touch them up after i'm done but i want to start my eyeshadow now i told y'all i feel did i i don't know if i didn't then i'm telling y'all now um that was mendoza on um freaking tiktok has been teaching me some tricks here and so i'm gonna use them today okay guys so i'm going to do my eyeshadow next what is that on my nose i had to switch locations you sure everybody getting ready for the bowl so i had to give up the bathroom but the lighting from my lamp the skin is skinning, <laughs> baby. Period. All right. Now, I don't know which palette I want to use for it. No, this is blush. No. Um, yeah. I use this one. The my hoodie is wet from the washcloth, y'all. So, not too much. Not too much on me. I'm probably gonna use this palette. It looks so dirty. I don't know why. But it's the Salute to the Sun palette by Uoma. So, like, look, you turn. <laughs> and then you open. And boom, y'all. So, this is the palette I'm going to use. Because my dress is a really, 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 really bright blue. I'm probably going to use, like, some lighter colors. Like, I'm not going to do a super bold eye. Maybe I'll add in little hints of blue. But it's not going to be because I want the attention on my dress. But I want my eyes to complement my dress, if that makes sense, right? And my jewelry is kind of pink, so... Yeah, that's why I'm going more towards pink. Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and time lapse, show, So I'll be back.
this dress will not zip it up. And on top of that, while looking for another dress, the strap popped. I could cry right now, like literally, because I had this whole thing planned about my head. And then now it's just not working. But I found another dress. It's not as extravagant as this dress, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it work. I'm not gonna cry. My makeup off like I just did. This is the finished look, by the way. I'm actually kind of proud of this. This is much better than other looks. Um, let's see. Hold up. So y'all can only see. Yeah, this is the look, y'all. But yeah, that's what happened. The strap popped. It won't zip in. It wants me to cry all this makeup off. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm about to change into my other dress and I will be back, guys. Breathe. No anxiety, no tears. I got this shit. Period. Because I'm a triple OG warrior princess. Let's do this. Let's okay, guys. So we have arrived at the ball. This is the fit. Y'all see the tat? Period. And the shoes. So, yeah, we're about to go inside. We're about to have fun. And yeah. As y'all can see, it's peeling, which means it's healing. Peeling and healing line, by the way. But it's good that this thing scraped and not this one, because I don't want to mess up my tattoo. I ain't even scratch it, even though it itch, because it's healing. But yeah, I did scrape my knee, y'all. Yeah. But we are home. 
I'm the sneaker ball. I'm about to put on a jacket so I can go to bed. And I'm gonna take my makeup off and then I'm gonna bring my mom her robe because she asked me if I could bring her robe down. You know? <laughs>